Hey, dude, dude, where are you, man? Hold on, let me switch over to where we can see each other here. Hold on. I'm at the pearly gates, waiting in line to get fitted for my halo. That's funny, me too. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of surprised we're up here. Yeah, really. Yeah, me too, and I apologize. I mean, who knew whiskey was flammable? Yeah, pretty much everyone actually did. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I just got my halo. Check it out. Damn, looks like you came up a little short in the halo department. I know, right? Why the hell is yours so big? It's fantastic. Everyone's staring at me. I'm the angel's envy. Seriously, though, this is a bunch of bullshit. That thing is so obnoxious anyway. And so are you. Quit your whining. It looks stupid anyway. And besides, halo size doesn't matter. It sure does matter. Damn it! I knew it! Angel's Envy! Angel's Envy! Angel's Envy! I will have the biggest and best wings anybody has ever seen. My wings would be like an eagle's wings on my back. Mine will be reminiscent of a piper cub. Yours will be small and short and you'll look like a big haloed bumblebee. Mine shall be like that of a 747. My wings will... That's a My pool has no water. My can has no beer. My bottle has no booze. And the heat. Oh, the heat. Good afternoon, fan of whiskey, words, and wisecracks. This is Kyle, and this week we're here to talk about Angel's Envy. This is a bourbon finished in port wine barrels. It's made here in Louisville, Kentucky, not far from here in Bardstown. Comes in at 86.6 .6 proof. Has a mash bill of 72% corn, 18% rye, and 12% malted barley. So, excuse me, 10% malted barley. Has an MSRP of around $50. Now, you can find it on sale anywhere around $39 to $45. I think $50 is a little high. Um, this is uh, this company is founded by Wes Henderson, who is the son of Lincoln Henderson, who is very well known in the bourbon community. In fact, he's in the Bourbon Hall of Fame. He served 40 years as the master distiller for Brown Foreman. During this tenure, he came up with such products as Gentleman Jack, the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Program, Woodford Reserve. Uh, uh, big shout out to that. Uh, we lost him in 2013, but his legacy carries on through his son Wes and now his son Kyle. Great first name. And uh, so three generations of bourbon makers, of whiskey makers, go into this Angel's Envy. Again, it's a bourbon finished in port wine barrels. It's important that you mention the port wine barrel part because it's not allowed to be classified as just bourbon whiskey. You have to add that it was finished in port wine barrels. You get the bourbon uh, old school folks a little upset about that. So um, that's just a little bit about Angel's Envy here. It started in 2011, and uh, it has actually three different versions. There's this one, which is the original. There's a version that's a rye. This actually uh, finished in Car Car Caribbean rum cask, easy for me to say. And there's also a cask strength version of this, which is supposed to be phenomenal. It uh, sells for a couple hundred bucks, but it is just supposed to be phenomenal, as is this. So uh, all that said and learned, let's, uh, let's give this a pour. I think we're gonna, gonna finish this bottle off here. I have a backup, so worry not. So here we go. It's gonna be a healthy pour, oh my goodness. All right, see you in the emergency room with this one. Wow, wowzers. All right, Angel's Envy, we got a bottle kill here, so put that off the side. I'm not going to sing you the embarrassing bottle kill song that we have in my house because, well, I'm on camera and I don't want to do that, so it's not going to sit very well like that either, so we'll just sit her right there with this uh, temporary bar top we have here. Let's give her a smell here. I'm not sure I can swirl it with this amount in here, but... Hmm, I get, um, there's cherries right off the bat, a nice soft uh, cherry, um... The vanilla and oak are kind of in the background behind the cherries on this one. It has a nice sweet smell. Nothing really comes out of the glass all crazy like. It's nice, just a nice, nice soft nose on it. Very nice, very enjoyable. Let's go in again and see if we pull anything else out of here. I'm going to go to my old notes here and see what I got when I was not on camera and a little more laid back sitting around the house here. Mm, yeah, just like I said, cherries, a little bit of uh, the oak and the vanilla are a little on the background on this one. It's very subtle, nice. You can just take a nice deep breath of this one. It's not going to overwhelm you at 86.6 .6 proof. I had a little waxy note on there when I tasted it, and I, I can kind of get that. Let me go in and, uh, excuse me, when I smelled it last time. 
Yeah, you do. You kind of get a little... You got to kind of reach for it, but you almost do get this little kind of a waxy note. I'm not sure how or where that comes from. It's kind of a unique flavor to this one, and it's not... It's a very nice... It, it blends in well, and it makes for a very nice uh, smell. So, let's go in for a taste here. Oh, it's very good. You get the sweetness from the port wine barrel right off the bat. It just adds a certain something. You get more oak on the sip for sure. Uh, a little honey comes out. A little more vanilla, a little more oak. The cherries are definitely kind of ruling out over everything, which, as you know from my other videos, I get a lot of cherries on bourbon. That's kind of what I get. So let's go in for another sip here. If you kind of do a sneak up on a sip, like I kind of come, just kind of, Barely peek my nose over the edge there. I get a little more of the vanillas and caramels when I do it that way. It's a very soft, nice nose. It just, yeah, you kind of, I don't know what I would call it, my sneak up sip. I kind of come in like that and sneak up on it instead of sticking my whole nose down in there. And I, that's where a little more of the caramel, caramel and vanillas come out. Let's go in for another taste here. Hmm. A nice mouth coating on it. Uh, Especially for 86.6 .6 proof. Um, like I said, you can you get that port wine experience there for sure. It, it definitely comes out and it uh, makes itself known. Along with the cherries, the oak, the vanilla. Um, the rye, I think the port wine kind of ma masks the rye a little bit on this one. You still taste it, but you have to search for it a little more than you normally would. Uh, very good. As I exhale now, I get the oak and the little bit of that rye are coming back through. Um, Kentucky Hug is very minimal on this one. Uh, it's nice. It'd be a good, uh, somebody starting out into bourbon, this would be a nice place to start right here. This uh, sad little empty bottle right here. So, um, yeah, one more sip here. One more sip. It's just good. It's just a nice, smooth, easygoing, um, fun experience that uh, I find very enjoyable. Um, I have in my notes here that as if you as you let this sit for a while, we're not going to do that in video. We don't want to bore you too bad here. But as you let this sit, if you sip it for 15, 20, 25 minutes while you're hanging out at home, the caramel will start to emerge as it kind of opens up and as air gets into it. So run out and get you a bottle of this, especially if you can find one on sale in that $39 to $43 range. But, I mean, it's a very good... Uh, you bring guests over your house that don't drink a lot of bourbon, I think this is a good one to start them off with. Angel's Envy. Uh, please remember to subscribe, like this video, and uh, check us out on Instagram, on Facebook. I hope you enjoyed the little video beforehand. We're not afraid to get a little silly with it. And uh, see you next time, Kyle. Out.